Hey, what's up, dear viewers and friends? My name's Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. We're still in the crew quarters where we've uh, explored most of it now, but we also just got Leverage 3, which means we can carry some larger objects. So, this thing, for example, I can now carry and then move to, for example, over here. There we go. That opens up this. There's some sparks flying around, but otherwise we can get into this room, which is, of course, a room that we already checked or not. Doesn't sound like we already checked it, because there's a phantom in here. That's a great start. Um, and there's still a glass pane in front of me. But I feel like if I'm going to smack that, he's going to know what. He's gonna know, right? Or is it not? Okay, it's not in here, apparently. I didn't check with the psychoscope, though, so might as well check if there are any mimics, because I do hear the clicking noise. But apparently there's no problem. Okay, so we got an extra shotgun and an extra pistol. With 15 bullets in it, that's nice. And there's the orbit underneath the pillow. But otherwise, ooh. This guy, whoever it is, was a gun nut. Let's open that up. Who is this? Sarah Elazar. Well, that makes sense, because she's security. That makes sense that she has... Ooh, I think we read about this. Day 3, we had driven far enough that our fuel ran out. More jets flew over headed toward the city. One circled back and made several passes over us, but did not shoot. That night in the desert, we sat by the empty truck and listened to the booming of artillery. Flashes of bombs and lightning covered the horizon. The morning our city was lost in what appeared to be shimmering heat waves. High overhead, there, was, there were brilliant flashes of light. Some said it was an atomic bomb, another said it was God's wrath. Today, I know it was just an accident. Scientists had thought thought they knew everything, but they did not. There were so many people lost that day, so many that I can barely comprehend it. But it was Elisa that hurt my heart. I know she was just a dog and I am ashamed of my feelings, but she did not make this world we live in. She was perfect, she was mine to protect and I failed. So, is that her account specifically or something else? Because I feel like we've, we've read one part of this already. You don't have the password to her terminal. But yeah, that escape from a city that was destroyed by that accident is something we've read about before. Jada Marx's office we can't really access. And I think there's one of these that was actually blocked by... Oh no. Was it on the other side maybe? Okay, it must have been just that because I can't find what else there was that was blocked off in here. But... The last area we haven't checked in here, aside from the upper level, which is still something we need to do. We can actually check the mail room as well, but recreation center after that. Because... I'm actually wondering. There are two utilities here, so the area map, might as well download that. Okay, and now we have the surveillance report. Pursuant to AU's orders, I have compiled a report concerning Annalise Gall Gallegos and Associates. And close is also a suspicious conversation between Mil Will Mitchell and Quinton Purvis to be reviewed by AU ASAP. So let's check the recording. I got the container set up. This is pretty weird, Quinton. I know, but if we. I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right? Okay, that was weird. And then the surveillance report. Subject, Dr. Annalise Gallegos. Quentin Purvis and William Mitchell. Subject left private quarters, presumably, presumably to report the first shift. Verified with psychotronic security. An hour later, subject returned to private quarters during shift hours, reason unknown. Quinton Purvis was observed entering subject's quarters, observed carrying a portable drive, 
left private quarters, walked to a cafeteria and was admitted to kitchen by chef Will Mitchell. Subject left crew quarters, verified with psychotronic security, and returned to crew quarters, took meal into room. So one of the subquests actually updated there. So now we need to search the cargo bay for the secret crates. We can do that later on. So let's see what else we have here. Because of course there's crew. Who was alive in the crew quarter still? So we see nominal life signs for... Oh, cause so those are probably the people that are unconscious. But a lot of them are actually dead. So Will Mitchell is definitely dead. And if we would have known beforehand to check this, we would have known the name of the guy that was still alive. But where would he have gone? There are a lot of people still alive in the lobby for some reason. So that's... I don't know where those would be. Although some of them say they're in the cargo bay as well. But this is interesting information. Although I can't decide on who would be the guy that impersonated the cook. Just from this list. So let's check the mail room. We might find more stuff in here. There we go. Find 661. Just gonna check, so we find Liam Macy here and a bunch of shotgun shells, which is always nice. And some more materials. Three neuro molds and another weapon upgrade kit. We had the med kit fabrication plan already, so that's fine. There's more shotgun shells. I kind of don't know why I missed that. Otherwise, this room seems to be empty, but that was quite a nice okay, combination of stuff. I still kind of need a recycler, so maybe there's one in the recreation center. Oh, there's a drawing underneath the desk here. Probably for Mia. That was sad. So. Recreation. We found a few. That was loud. We found a few codes for this room. For this area. So let's head in and see. There's glue all over the ceiling here. Um, I am going to quick save. So what is here? I think there were more mind controlled people here, but at the moment they might actually be down because, oh yeah, <laughs> I think I just saw David Branch drop to the floor. That was a bit weird because I think, yeah, there should only be two telepods around here, although there might of course always be a third. Happy birthday, daddy. Let's listen to this. Earth comes. A file from someone's daughter or son, probably. Hi, Daddy. Happy birthday. I made you a present, but you'll have to open it when you get home because your company has lame rules. Guess what? I finally trotted with Lita. It was awesome. Um, what else? Oh, Ren peed in one of your cowboy boots. <laughs> Sorry. I really miss you. Tell Mr. Yu I said kids should be allowed in space. Well, I guess that's all for now. I love you. Oh, that was nice. Just a little bit of conversation between this man or woman with her or his daughter. That was nice. But another book here, the fly. I don't really need to check that. So these people all seem to be down. I don't think there should be any mimics here, but there is a safe over there. But this is where those people actually play Dungeons and Dragons. So Bruce Cobb. Definitely dead. Or Fatal Fortress, I think it was called. Oh god. Hold the geist. Hold the geist. Definitely. There he is. Jesus Christ, the music. Um, there he is. Ow. Can I block that somehow? Ow. Where is he? Because I need to eat again. Where the fuck did he go? There we go. I mean, he's completely invisible, even with the psychoscope, so that's annoying. Ow. That hurt a lot. But at least I have enough food on me to heal that off without using any medkits. Although at this point, I should actually be using the medkits. 
It's not that bad, but that would have been annoying with the telepath still alive. Um, can't forget about the safe here. It kind of freaked me out, Jesus Christ. Oh no, it's not a safe. It's one of those weird billiard thingies. So they were playing games on this thing, which for some reason shows the skyline we saw at the very beginning of the game. That's interesting. So we saw David here slumped on the floor. He only has a lemon peel on his inventory, which is weird. And we can take these things. Always nice. I feel like we're healing up pretty nicely there as well. These crates don't seem to block anything. And... There's just a simple trash can underneath the staircase. Which was launched here by the poltergeist, probably. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this actually moves us further up. Oh, and this actually just loops. Okay. Okay. Um... Uh, the Mimic is a book. There we go. You shall not surprise me anymore. I have the power of the Psychoscope in my hands. And there we have another character sheet. So there we have Heart and Buffle Flagdasterus. So those are those the same people that are playing the Treasure Hunt? Because that seems like it might actually match. Oh. And I feel like, yeah, that glue is actually holding back a tunnel as well. So that's interesting. So read the notes. Remember, blind ogres can call for help with gongs. Try to distract Flag Dasterus from using White Jam against Necro. And plus one lock bonus to whoever figures out Drip's Riddle. And now we got the keycard for Abigail's cabinet. That's good. Uh, the Master Tome. Each player will need a character sheet, a record sheet, a miniature to present the character on the combat map and a full set. So yeah, basically Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, I can't, that's just a book. I can't just check this separately. I don't know what I'm getting from uh, when I dismantle a, a foam caster. There's more character sheets here. So Rosalind Swift. And then... Captain Stabfellow, although, although I feel like I've seen this one before. And there we have Stabfellow's treasure map. Hmm. This is weird. Let's listen to Elias Black. Alright, uh, Elias has... Stabfellow! Stabfellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door... Well, forget that, it just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire path of Ratmen, oh spellless wonder. We don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing. From the darkness, it has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right here. Okay, so there's a mimic over there. I should probably not fire at it just yet. How do I get up there? through the staircase and that was a bit of uh, Dungeons and Dragons in the background there so this is still the lobby so if I just move although I should probably check out that tunnel first because that's another staircase we can check out let's check out the tunnel first so I could probably smack the window there we go and get through along the edges so through here and then equip the glue cannon and start oh come on there we go although this might actually be solid enough there we go and then crouch underneath and there we go okay so this guy locked himself in here and we're gonna free his ass even though he's a corpse. There we go. Okay. 
So another glue cannon. Might as well take it. Eve Coolidge. Well, she's not cool anymore, is she? Oh, what's this? This could be a mimic, because she died because of a mimic. Aha. Ooh, a cystoid nest. Let's just fire that from here. And let them cool off. So we're in the theater. So that's another area that's upstairs. Okay. Okay, fair enough. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Ooh, careful here. There's another nest over there. I think there's only one way for them to come, so... Still have plenty of glue canisters, so might as well just fire off. And there's the last one, I think. So that takes care of that, so now we can check this area out safely. In transgressions! Transstar Cinema. I can actually carry this thing, so might as well check if it's not hiding anything. Oh, almost killed myself there. Ooh, this is loud. This is very loud. Can I turn it off? I probably can. Can I turn it off? I cannot. I can use the reservation scanner. I don't know why, because I could do that at the beginning as well. So this just had a cystoid nest and nothing else. Although, nope, doesn't seem to be openable. Still don't know how you can differentiate between those two types, but that's the theater. So if we move back over here, there's another corpse. With a broken cooler fam. Clark Rafferty. So our collection is growing bigger at least. And that chair is the mimic. There we go. Nowhere else are there mimics. We killed the one we scanned from across the room. Don't know why the music is still going. Might as well repair this thing. The yellow tulip. Huh. This place is dark. I don't like dark spaces. Because there's creepy monsters. And this definitely sounds like a creepy monster in here. Phantom. So that seems to be a normal phantom. Then the yellow, yellow tulip supply closet. So I could probably carry this thing. Put it... Oh god! There we go. Haha! Fooled you, mimic! Oh god, there's another one. Is it that chair? Okay. Oh man, it's dark in here. And I, but I'm scared to use my flashlight because I think it sounds like there's a phantom like right here. What do you see in the glass? Yeah, I still don't know why he's repeating dialogue from. Ooh, there we go. Supply closet. Tizzy was destroyed. And we can take a lot of booze here. It's going to help us against the fear. The game says Regina Salas. Oh, there's a phantom over there. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Get over here, Regina. I should have probably turned off my flashlight there. Was she a voltaic one or not? She seems like a normal one. So let's deploy the turret like this, let it start firing at it. There we go, and then the shotgun to the face, and in one shot down. Secured pharmaceuticals, and a lot of medical supplies, so that's great, but there's definitely still one in here. So, let's open that up. And then check. Doesn't seem like there's one in here. There's multiple people here that try to survive probably. So let's turn this on. Let's turn this on. Who do we have here? Brandy Pester. And Jenny Garbenzov. 
And another wrench. I really need to recycle it. Because there's like lots and lots of things in here. More booze, of course. But I can, I can carry that. And a bunch of spare parts. Which seems to be everything. But the phantom seems to be on the other side of this wall. Uh, the other phantom did break the toilet, though. So might as well repair it with the stuff I just found. So the only other thing that's here... Aside from this corpse, this horrible, horrible corpse. The neutral horizon, let's just quickly check that. And then Guy Jameson is also dead. There's a lot of people dead in the crew quarters. Let's turn that off and open that up. Because I feel like the Phantom is just hiding out. No. Doesn't seem like he is. I don't know why I can't enter. Can't seem to enter. So I can't enter this tunnel. Can't enter the tunnel. Okay, that's a turret. Don't freak out, that's a tunnel. So he's supposedly on the other side of this wall. Let's check the map. So what I'm looking at, I don't know how this is supposed to work. Is there another? No, this goes down. So it's probably inside one of the rooms. Wait a second. I did get Abigail's key. We also got something pharmaceutical thing. But if we go in here, because it's probably one of the rooms below the yellow tulip. And I think Abigail's room was over here. So there we go. Abigail Foy's cabin. Let's open that up. Ooh, yeah, they played games in here. That's nice. That's nice of them. There's another Nero mold here. So I'm gonna take that. Some more flexi foam bolts. I'm just gonna check if there's no mimic around here because I don't want to get jumped. So I can hear the phantom from here as well, but the terminal, I don't have the password, but join us for a private celebration. Yeah, we saw that. And Abigail's terminal is locked, but I can hack it. There we go, hacking succeeded. And then she has, ooh, she has a lot of here things in here. Hidden treasure. Oh. Hidden treasure. Hmm. And we have two files. So fabrication plan for the broadcaster and conversation archive. The melodrama is real. Danielle had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. The Yu family sorry. Was it as insincere as a Danielle show apology? No. Danielle, I'm not saying working with him is easy, but... Did you just compare me to him? To that arrogant sack of shit? Danielle, this has to stop. You're right. Get out. We're done. Danielle! I said get out. Okay, that's... a sad ending to that story. That was... yeah, the melodrama was real. Aww. And I thought they were such a cute couple then. <laughs> now, now I kind of feel like I didn't want to see what was going on in that room. But let's head back up. Because we weren't done there. Hmm, but where is this phantom? Because I feel like there's... Yeah, there's definitely a tunnel over there. So if I can move up... I'm going to use the flashlight for this. Because otherwise you guys won't see a single thing of what I'm doing. And there we go. Okay, so now we're up top. And I can get into this area. And that drops us down into the fitness center. It's a bit weird, but... It's on the other side here. I mean, it sounds like we should be seeing it, right? It's so close, although there might be another level above us. And that might be what we're hearing. So let's go down. I'm going to turn off the flashlight again. Is it on or off now? I think it's off. Because that thing has a battery as well, because so kind of ran out a minute ago. So there's another corpse, Mike Turner. And our inventory is full. Great. Where is the recycler when you need it? There's an authorized personnel thingy here. Oh, oh my god. Thank you. Exactly what I was asking for. And I don't need to use my weapon upgrade kits because I have three, I think. Um, let's see. So I can take the... Ooh, that's a lot of batteries. Let's take the note. 
Mike, when you're heading up to the exact suits suites to fix the cooling system there, you can bring Morgan his supplies, blah, blah, blah. We saw that already, I think. So, that probably means that there's... Oh, God damn it. That's supposed to... There we go. Synthetic material. Thank you for that. And this is starting to sound like twitchy mimic noises. Although it probably isn't then. There's stuff behind here as well. But I don't have any space. So let's recycle first. So that's a whole bunch of stuff. There we go. 12.4 metal. That's what I'd like to see. Thank you. Thank you. Holy crap nozzles. That's cool. 12.4 mineral materials. Uh, and there's still more where that came from. Because this stuff can also be dismantled. And then the stuff up here can also be dismantled. There we go, the plastic tubing. That is good to know. So there is a recycling on this level as well. Uh, let's dump that in here again. And there we go. So, first up, weapon upgrade kits. And we actually have eight neural molds as well. So let's check those out first. I think going into gunsmith or lab tech 2 might be a good option or i could just go for repair tree which allows us to repair everything then if i want to go completionist style would also upgrade my damage with firearms to an extra 30 percent you know what i'm using my um my mechanical weapons the most i feel like so the pistol and the shotgun so let's upgrade gunsmith to the final level there we go and that made a different noise for some reason then we get our pistol. We can upgrade the damage to the maximum, which it already has. I could upgrade the range. Let's do that once. Because I feel like we can't really snipe at the moment. Um, and the range is going to fix that. So might as well put another one in. Although let's check the shotgun out first. Because I feel like, yeah, so there's two more slots for the shotgun upgrade part. So one... And then upgrade it finally to 79 damage. There we go. Recoil. I don't really care about recoil. I can manage that pretty nicely. Ammo capacity and reload speed is fine as well. So I think we should go then put the last one into the pistol into range. So that's another 5 meters on top of the range. That's going to help us out in killing those uh, bigger enemies from afar. So that feels like a good way to spending those. I'm gonna also waste another super fair kit on those 16 points because I wanna I wanna have the inventory space. I have plenty of space left, but that's that's nice. So we still have two neuromods. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But now we also have a buttload materials, a buttload of materials that we can use in the fabricator downstairs. Um, but I feel like there's another level to this area because there's that phantom that we can hear but not really see. Yes, of course, the executive suite, so, and those are only accessible through the elevator, and the elevator is locked off, and Don Davis is in here, so I'm going to just drag his poor corpse, otherwise he's going to fly up once I turn the elevator on. So, 7490, we saw that code a few times now. Oh god! Yeah! That was... Okay, the cook killed me there. God damn it. Where is that putting me back? Okay, okay, it's in here, so I still just need to recycle everything. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, give me a second. So, in exactly the same space as we were before, but now we're gonna try to not die from the recycler charge that's hooked into the freaking door. How the hell was I supposed to see that? Oh, it's right up there. Yeah, I'm blind. So can we... Disarm that. We can disarm that using the pair one and we can get that. We get a recycler charge for troublers as well. So let's get David out of there again. Transtel chunk not go off. And you? Maybe you see it? Avoid it? Yes, I did. I don't know how you even saw that. So that means he might actually be in the executive suites. So let's put 7490 in there. That turns back the elevator on. There we go. I would want to turn around, but I can't when I'm in the elevator. Okay, apparently it's not needed either. 
Oh god, there's a freaking technopath on the other side of the door. Hi, I can scan you from here, buddy. Okay. Damn, that's loud. Okay. So this guy is probably going to be a problem, but at least I scanned them. Okay, so I also need to be careful that I don't trigger any recycler charges. Because <laughs> I'm going to die again otherwise. Morgan U Suite. That makes sense that I can open that up. There we go. That looks nice. Is there another poltergeist in here? Don't want to get spooked again. Okay, your cabin. I feel like this should be safe, but I'm not certain that it will be. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up. It actually looks pretty much like our original apartment. It's very, very similar in because the kitchen was there, the bathroom over there, and then the big windows. Yeah, it's almost exactly the same as the apartment from the beginning of the game. But let's loot this place. Another weapon upgrade kit, obviously. And then if I recall correctly, this was supposed to be a closet, right? So it's not openable right now. And then, of course, the operator she was working on. Even the item placement is really, really similar. They kind of copied everything about this. And then two neuro mods, spare parts, neuro mod fabrication plan, and two null wave transmitters. That's going to come in handy. Psycholytic converter. And that is another psychoscope upgrade. Probably not going to use it, but. When the side meter is empty, powers will consume health instead, but at an increased rate. That sounds painful. Um, let's check out... Yeah, it's still the same password. Memory logs. Oh. Audio output into October. So that's that kind of confirms my theory, that every month she was making an operator, so that was why there were so many parts she needed. And every operator had its own plan to get out of it for some reason. But let's start with Calvino. So that's the doctor we found floating in space. Calvino, colleague. Won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record. No absences. Okay, Danielle show. New entry. Show. Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Okay, then Igwe. Dio Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about Tess. Loyal to Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Hmm. Then Michaela. Michaela Ilyushin. Chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when Tess began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient, but false. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Okay. I do find it weird that she's talking in this way, because it's really, really, well, apathetic. She's not really reacting to anything. Paraplexis. Paraplexis. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Okay, and Sarah Elazar? Sarah Elazar. Chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. The paraplexus thing is interesting. So people that had this disease couldn't use Neuromod, but were also prohibited from even going on to Talos 1. Which makes me wonder if that was to prevent anybody, because they wanted to control everybody. Because we read last time, we read about the fact that they could actually reset the entire station's memories. So how long have we been on this station collectively and that everybody just forgets? Because I feel like we've heard different stories of different relationships on board of the station. Proxies, agents and personhoods. Okay, that's not really something we need to check out. A little bit of food, but not much. Okay, so that's our own cabin. 
Let's quick save again. And move a bit further. So we have two more rooms here. One of them is Alex's room, of course, and we can't check that out. And I feel like I can hope. Yep. Um. Oh god, where did he go? There we go. The one I'm firing at me. Argento Pero. Argentano. Argentano? Argentano Pero. So that's another dead guy. That was exciting. So that was probably the phantom we could hear from downstairs. Bit of an audio bug, I feel like, but... There we go. Just gonna grab the pistol again. Would there be any mimics here? No mimics? No mimics? Okay. Some more booze in the nightstand and an apple. Is that it? Seems like not a lot for somebody in the executive suites. Why is this here? Because this feels like a full suite, but there wasn't a name attached to this room, I think. Right? If I go over here. No. Guest suite. Okay. Guest suite. Never mind. And then Alex's suite is inaccessible. And I don't have the key card yet. And I can't try anything about this either. So that's gonna have to come in later. And this thing is apparently not a room. So the Technopath is out there. We can't really reach it. God damn, that's loud. So I think that's the one that killed me outside at one point. Must have been. So let's go down again. So I think we then checked out everything, right? Although, wait. Med Bay. Did I check out the Med Bay? I don't think I have, right? Okay, the medical bay. Let's take all of that. It's fine. And then the med kit. Don't, doesn't seem like there's anything bad in here. So let's just... Again, that fa fabrication plan we've seen at a hundred times over. More plasma and another med kit. So med kits are always nice. And nothing in the trash can. So that's not spectacular, but at least it's something. There's usually... One of those escape vents around here, but it doesn't seem like this room has one. But where would those pharmaceuticals be? Or maybe that's a keycard for somewhere else. So, god damn it. I went back into the theater, the yellow tulip, and the phantom is still here. So that's not the phantom that we're talking about. Um, I'm not going to continue looking over here. But the least I can do is just go and check out the recycler again and fix that bit. So I used the fabricator to make some more pistol and shotgun bullets and a few more neuromods. Shut up, skillet. God damn it. And the neuromods, we're going to use that now to upgrade our weapon damage. So there we go. Firearms 2, which increases it to 30% and 4% actually uh, extra critical hit chance. So there we go with that. And that should allow us to now leave this area, I feel like. I feel like we've explored everything there is to, although I still don't know where that phantom is coming from. But I know there's something of a secret around here with the treasure maps. Maybe I should check that out. I feel like at least one of those treasure maps is going to have to go here. So I think Stab Fallow's map actually matches the location of the recycler, if I'm correct. Kind of matches that, right? So if I go back up, the recycler is supposed to be over here. So it's telling me to look into this dark. The six. A six. There we go. It's pointing at the six. Aha. Uh -huh. So now we at least know. That it's six. We still need to load the maps. 
Staff Fellows map leads to the digit 6. We saw one before that. God damn it, this is going to be... This is going to be a tough one, isn't it? So we found a few other maps. But not every single one of the maps. Because we still need to find Danielle's map. Which is interesting because we saw Danielle. We've been into her cabin. And we still haven't seen her map. And then Rosalind Swift's map. We found that, I think, in the gym center. And there's two different staircases there. Level 1. So it's not here. It's definitely not here. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's not here. So I'm going to move out. I think I've done everything I could in this area. So we're going to go back out into the Arboretum. Um, of course, there's still the Wayward Phantom somewhere around here, but don't really care. Here we go. Oh, snap. That's not good. Oh, wow. There's definitely a weaver around here. The coral stuff. Oh, God. And they're out. So let's get the disruptive stun gun. And grab... This one first. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Where the hell is he? There we go. There we go. Where did he go? He dropped down, didn't he? There we go. Oh, watch out for the explosion. There we go. Okay. That was a nice hit to my suit. That was a... Uh, a, a bad hit to my suit. I'll drink that. Wow, that's a welcoming party. I mean, nothing I can't fix, but still. Annoying. Spare parts, but at least we got Q-beam cells out of those guys as well. So does that mean that the security office is now open? There's definitely something up there, which is not good because there were people out there. There were people out there. And those are still stuck. And there's now a recycler charge above the door here. And I still need hacking two to get in there. Those guys aren't going to annoy me, are they? Okay, so there's... Mimics. A voltaic phantom. And I think what I'm hearing is the nightmare. God damn, this is uh, going to be interesting. Just move away. There we go. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hide from the voltage there, because I don't want to antagonize anything just yet. Although he's probably coming in my direction, so let's get an EMP charge ready. There we go, and then we can use the shotgun. There we go. And he's carrying another weapon upgrade kit. That's nice of him. Oh god! Okay. Well, that is something new. Oh god, is that something coming for me? Yeah, that was a, a blast. Ow. Ow. Jesus Christ. So that's something. Um, can I fire at that thing? It's leaving. It's leaving. Well, that's great. It is supposedly hunting me, though. I did scan it, so I know where it is at all times. But, um... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, th those guys can freak out all they want. What? I 
fucking fire at it. Oh, ow. Oh god. I mean, I am doing damage to it. So I'm just gonna block the shots there. Is it standing up now? What is it doing? I'm not, not seeing the health bar. There it is. Jesus Christ. Oh god! That was bullshit. That went through the wall. Okay. Okay. This thing doesn't seem to have a head of some sort. That was in the face though. That's going through everything. Let's just let it hit the floor. I mean, it's so big that I could actually just hit it out of cover. There we go. There we go. I don't care about you guys. I really don't. The nightmare is over. Ooh, 30 Typhon organs, but nothing else. The nightmare. Well, it's not as tough as I thought it was going to be. But, uh, yeah, it took a lot of bullets. Let's repair this thing, the turret. Because I think the turret might actually help us out in killing the weaver that's flying around. Oh, and there's another Voltaic. There's another Voltaic. So let's get the MP charge, and then I'm going to have to... It's firing at the Voltaic, but I feel like the Voltaic can't actually... I think the Voltaic can't actually... Oh, God. Teleport. There we go. Can't actually teleport. That was what I was saying. And there we have another Psy Hypo. I'm sorry, little turret. There we go. You're back. Repaired. Okay. So the Weaver is also here somewhere. Don't know where. We killed two Voltaics and a Nightmare. So that's fine. That's fine. And all the turrets are broken, obviously. Probably because of the giant Nightmare rampaging through the area. But at least we killed the big ones. Um, with that done, I'm going to take a little break as I've been going on for way too long. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I did. Because that was a lot of excitement, wasn't it? So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode of Parade. Safety Talos 1 Goodbye. is everyone's responsibility. Send all help requests or concerns to security at transstar.talos.